Hi, today is Friday, March 3rd, 2017. It's the third day of Lent, and uh, this is our Sweet Speaks. I was going to talk about uh, the corruption of the of the right and uh, maybe the rise of the of the old right, of the conservative right. I, I saw an article by Pat, Pat Buchanan about uh, President Trump's uh, speech in the in Congress, which wasn't a State of the Union, all, but it was the it was almost like that. His speech uh, in regard to the government's budget, and uh, the program that President Trump is proposing, or the, the program that that he stands for. It's not the neoconservative program of President, well, for instance, President Bush, George W. Bush. Trump is an economic nationalist. That's why he wants to build a war, a wall towards Mexico. That's why he don't want bad trade agreements, because he wants to protect American interests. And that's why he says that free nations is the greatest vehicle for for the will of the people. He said something like that. I don't have the quote uh, right now, right here, but he said something along those lines. And uh, what this is, this is the old right returning, because uh, the program that Trump is uh, stands for is nothing new. As Buchanan said in his in his uh, column, and as I have said, when when I argued the case for Trump towards people who consider themselves right wing but who wouldn't want to have anything to do with him or to anyone actually, I um, I used to say that Trump really he is uh, like the Republican Party used to be, not what it turned into with the rise of neoconservatism. And uh, yeah, just let's let's just get this on the table. You know what the neocons are? The neocons are Trotskyites who 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 supposedly went to the right, and then they started destroying the Republican Party. But now it looks like the grand old party are uniting behind Trump. I hope so. A few might not. You don't have any. You don't need these people. These people could form their own neocon party or something like that. You don't need them. And uh, I could relate this to the Nordic countries. Because in the Nordic countries, around, uh, around the year 1900, when socialism started to become a force. One moment, please. Oh, I need some, yeah. When, when, when social democrats and socialists started to organize, and when they started to appeal to the masses, and of course there were lots of poor people in Sweden, in Norway, in Denmark, in Finland, so there's nothing strange about that. And they offered an easy and quick solution. I could understand their appeal back then. What happened then was that the liberals, uh, that means libertarians in this case, and conservatives, in the West, in the Nordic countries, and I'm pretty sure also in other parts of the of the Western world, they 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 got a common enemy, which was socialism. I mean, the Social Democrats in Sweden by the late 1920s, they wanted to socialize all the banks. Right now, they want to they, they want to socialize the forest. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, conservatives and liberals had a common enemy, which they united against. And they had to do this. But what happened was, after democracy being introduced, etc., etc., you had the socialist bloc, the social democrats, the communist party, and you had the non-socialist bloc, the bourgeois parties. And in theory, you had a conservative party in Sweden. Which was called the Högerpartiet, the right, the right party or the right wing party. 
but eventually they turn into a liberal party too and by now the moderates as they are called now in sweden they are not only a liberal party or a libertarian party no they are rather they are rather left liberal at least in cultural issues they are more or less leftists in economic issues could be discussed but there's very little conservatism going on in the old conservative party in sweden and what's happening now trump has come to power and he stands for for what they used to be like is coming back we have a, the tide is turning and we have brexit the people voted to get their independence back even though the european union they are trying to to blackmail britain into paying large amounts to get out which i think is probably more related to scaring voters in for instance the netherlands or france from voting for uh, for eu skeptic parties or candidates it's probably more about that because they're trying to show them that it's going to be expensive i just hope that britain leaves the eu that they that they make a trade agreement with with the united states and that they tell the brussels bureaucrats to sod off i cannot underline this enough britain should really tell the bureaucrats in brussels to get lost to sod off and in france there is uh, there is much support for marine le pen she is being uh, stripped of her immunity now as a member of the european parliament by the way because she shared some picture on twitter showing what the islamic state was doing it's crazy it seems like they are so scared so they hope that she will get prosecuted in france because maybe she wins i i don't really think she will win anyway although i hope so and maybe this helps her to win haven't they learned yet but let's not go into this the thing is what really corrupted the right was the alliance with liberals and what we are seeing now is the rise of uh, good old-fashioned conservatism again and i hope that this doesn't only happen in the united states and not only in the, in the united kingdom with brexit but it happens all over europe and all over the western world this is what i really really hope for and this is one of one of the reasons i am i am doing this i hope it even happens in sweden the sweden democrats are gaining support although i consider them more or less kind of social democrats although one might might argue they are social conservatives but mm, i'm not so sure about that i think they're pretty social democrat although they are more sane than all the other parties in the swedish parliament which actually says more about the other parties but anyway anyway there's a lot to be said about this but i hope that uh, conservatism is going to be on the rise again it's it certainly looks like it and that's what i have to say about this right now i would like to thank the people who who are supporting this channel through paypal and through patreon i would also like to thank the people who are praying for this channel i know there are a few thank you very much and if you like this channel please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything please uh, like my videos if you like them please share my videos on social media and if you like you can comment if you got something to say and i would also like to encourage you to support this channel that can be done through paypal and through patreon and i will include the necessary information in the box below this is a sweet speaks have a nice